Considering a hair transplant? Had one before? Are you a hair transplant professional? HairTransplantSociety.com is for you. We're connecting patients with each other to share experiences, connecting patients with clinics and doctors, and connecting clinics with employees. Join today. So, here we are with Tony. That's right. Tony is here after a one, it's been one year? Almost exactly one year. Almost exactly June one year. June 4th of last year. So. Okay, and we did a max service hair transplant procedure on you? That's right. How'd it go? It was awesome. It was uh, very exciting. Uh, it was very minimal in terms of any type of discomfort or anything. I've had trips to the dentist that were certainly more oh, you know, worse. Right. Yeah, and it was a lot of fun watching it grow in and, and uh, it was just great fun. I mean, it, I had already decided to do a second one like a week after because it was such a good experience that I thought awesome. I can definitely do this again. So. Awesome, man. Yeah. So, so was there, there were any issues during the healing process? None. No. Um, everything that you guys said, you know, and, and, and taught and directed was, was it. Um, you know, you get a little bit of swelling sometimes, but you know, I pop an ibuprofen, lay on the couch for 20 minutes with some ice or, or cold rag, and it would go away. Excellent. And uh, the suture line, I mean, there was literally nothing. I, I mean, it itched sometimes, but there was no pain, and there's really no reason at all to be scared of it at all. You know, it's funny because a lot of the patients will say, oh, I've watched every one of your videos, but I can't believe it was as easy as it was. Yeah, it's exactly <laughs> like the videos. Exactly. There's nothing, nothing you're gonna find that's that's different about it. Everything you see in all the videos is exactly the way it is. Awesome. Man. So, and when did your hair start growing? Uh, quick. It was about after a month and a half. I started oh, wow, seeing it. Wow, that's unusual. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, Excellent. it started coming in quick, and I think it probably it felt like it stopped around like not month nine because I think I got started so quickly. Oh wow. Okay, great. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, it it grew in very quick, and it's there's nothing like seeing your hairline come back. You know that was. It's really, it was really neat, and it was something that I'd given up hope on years ago, and thought I just got to accept that I'm never going to have good hair, and uh, thank God I, I found this place, you know. Awesome, man. Now, uh, when your hair started growing, was it um, naturally growing? Did it seem to grow in spurts? How'd that work out for you? Yeah, it felt completely natural, just kind of blended in. It was. I actually grew my hair out long for the procedure because I wanted to be able to cover it up when you did the, the suture in the back. And so nobody noticed because I, I it was kind of this length. And then I didn't get a cut for three months. I just wanted to grow it out and let it do. And by the time I got the first cut, um, I was like, wow, it's already kind of, you know, already kind of even and uh, it grew in perfectly natural nobody ever noticed I was anything just ask you, if anyone um, yeah. you know I mean I got compliments and some people would say like your hair looks better like oh, I like you, you you should get that kind of haircut from now on and I just kind of smile but uh, yeah well, not, now, not a single person when you were shopping around for a hair transplant were you looking at other doctors offices or yeah. different procedures yeah, in fact, I, I, I'm from St. Louis, and I set up an appointment with one of the doctors, one of the big, big firms, and um, I ended up coming across a really, really, a couple of bad stories that people had gone, like, literally created their own website just to tell their story about how bad it was there. Oh, wow. And so I called and canceled, and I had just about give it up. I, I thought, there's nothing I can do. Um, but then it hit me. I think I was watching, I was watching something. It was like Matthew McConaughey was on and someone was talking about how he had a hair transplant. I thought, well, you know, celebrities do do it. And it's out there. I just need to find the right doctor. Can I find the doctor and can I afford it? And so I actually started Googling around celebrity transplants and pretty quickly stumbled upon you, got to the website and then watched 200 videos and I was addicted to it. Awesome. Yeah. Now, are you using Propecia or Rogaine? Yeah, I'm doing both, Propecia and Rogaine. Okay. Yep. And any side effects, any issues? None. Excellent. None at all. Okay. Excellent. And what brings you back today? So, I, you know, I, I'm a hair junkie, as you guys call it. <laughs> uh, I want more hair, thicker hair. I'm a guy that wants to really comb it backwards and style it. And uh, I didn't hit the crown the last time. Okay. Uh, we, we hit the oh, first and the second area. Yeah. And I didn't hit the crown, so okay. my thought is if we can, tighten up the front again, see awesome. if we can thicken that up, and then probably hit the crown and 
Access my thought. So we did a max harvest hair transplant on Tony, and we completely reframed his face. Where we went through and you know built the entire hairline, the entire way around. So today, what we're going to do, I'm just going to kind of spin you around for a sec here, is we're going to we didn't get to the crown last time. I'm just going to yep, you got it. We're going to fill this in for him as well. So we're going to do a hairline and a crown um, because we already have hair in this vertex. This is secured now. So now we're going to fill in, strengthen up the hairline. Get that crown started. Let's take a look at your suture line. So I'm looking at this at the same time as the camera is as well. Right there. So that came out awesome, man. Look at this, Josh. So I'm going to put my comb directly over where this line would be if it existed. That's it. You healed unbelievable. Yeah, it was uh, literally like you really. If you don't know exactly, this is the line. None of the barbers have ever noticed. I've right been told. I've been told a couple of. If, you know, did you see any so, line and they didn't notice? Right here, if you can see this with the camera, right under the comb is the line. So that's just perfect, man. That came look right there. You can see it like that. Here, right through there. That's the line. And he just I mean, he did a great job, man. I always know when my patients were good patients is when I see this. Look at this. You, know, you could probably shave your head and you wouldn't even really see that. Yeah. So that's the suture line right there. Came out awesome. In fact, when I, got, awesome. when I got the sutures out, you know, I, I went to just dock by my house. Uh -huh. And he had also just done somebody else oh, like okay. a week ago. And when he was taking mine out, he was like, who did this? And I said, well, I went to a doctor in Florida. And he goes, he looked at me, he's like, he's good. Awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> it was great to hear that, you know, and especially to get somebody who's dealt with other suture lines. And he said a guy had just come in a week before whose suture line was that thick and it was messed up. Right. And um, he started asking all these questions like he was interested himself yeah. in doing it. And uh, I mean, I almost came right out just to tell him, here, go to this guy and this the guy. But it's a delicate topic, you know. Right. Yeah, I understand. But um, yeah, it was great. So awesome, man. Well, congratulations. Thank you, you so an much. Awesome job on you again today. Appreciate you doing the video. Everyone sure. loves the video, so sure. thank you very much for that. And uh, is there anything you, uh, on the last word, you'd like to say to someone who's thinking about doing this, who's kind of on the fence? What would you say to them? Yeah, I mean, I would say just do it. I mean, if you're watching the videos, there's a reason you're watching the videos. It's because it bothers you badly. You wouldn't be looking otherwise. Um, so just go ahead and do it. It's a lifetime. It's it's going to be the best thing you've ever done because it's something that's going to last you a lifetime. Almost no, nothing else that you buy cars, houses, whatever it is, clothes, it lasts a few years, it's gone. This is something that is, you know, going to give you confidence forever. So, Excellent. Josh, would you like to add anything? Of course. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Just to let you guys know, when you watch this, if you want to go through the blog that we keep, Tony was really nice enough to kind of um, keep a, a, a record of the healing process, the growth process, with detailed photos and extensive writing. So for you guys who really want to get a lot of information about his experience, it's there in the blog. Just go through it. It's just over a year old. Sure. Search it back and you'll see uh, his whole experience in uh, detail along with the uh, photos. So uh, uh, anybody, thank you for doing that. Tony. And anybody wants to call me, you know, give my number. I'd, I'd love to talk to him for Okay, you know? awesome, man. Thank so, you. Also just for, if, if just for, I guess, transparency or whatever, I don't usually wear my hair like this. I grew. I usually style it, but I grew it out long, so just to help cover. Yeah, help cover it up. I'm I'm a guy that doesn't shave my head when I do the the transplant, but that's just my choice. So uh, this isn't typically what it looks like, but you're not allowed to style it or put anything in your hair for the procedure. So I'll I'll come back a year from now and style it. And we'll show what it's what it's really going to look like. Awesome, man. Thanks again for doing the interview. Absolutely. Thank you. Good job.